Hello, my name is Cullen and you're on board my 1978 Chris Craft Corinthian Big News. Today's video is gonna be awesome. We survived the tropical storm and I spent the last week scrubbing and cleaning everything, which is why it's so empty here and why I look kind of worse for wear right now. Have you ever gotten to do something so amazing, but so unexpected and so out of the blue that you can't remember if it actually happened or if you just made it all up? That happened to me a couple weeks ago. I got the once in a lifetime chance to talk with Chris Smith. He's the grandson of Christopher Columbus Smith who founded the Chris Craft Boat Company. Chris Smith was personally involved in the prototyping and design of fiberglass boats in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, if I remember correctly. That means he prototyped and designed this boat. He built my boat. <laughs> Words cannot describe what was going through my head at the moment. That was so unexpected, completely unplanned. I had no preparation at all. Just one second we were talking and one second we were on the phone with the man who designed my boat. Enjoy. I haven't talked to him in about six months. Uh, Chris? Yeah. Hi, it's Dave. How are you? I called a while ago. Uh, I am here with a young gentleman that has a YouTube channel, and he would love to say hello to you uh, because his main focus on his YouTube channel is his Chris Craft Corinth. And oh, Corinthian. Corinthian, sorry. Yes, sir. I have a 1978 Chris Craft Corinthian. It's 38 feet long, and it is the, my favorite thing I have ever done in my life has been owning this boat and getting it back to working condition. So I just wanted to, this is an honor, to, I just want to thank your family for making this such a big part of my life. It, it wouldn't have been anything without your family. So thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm real proud of those old boats. <laughs> a lot of fun building them and a lot of fun using them. Oh, I've had so much fun doing both. It's it's incredible. I've, I think I've rebuilt both engines, but I, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, there's still a lot of work to do, but thank you so much for, for getting us to this point where we could even do this. This is awesome. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for talking to me. <laughs> Thank you for talking with me, sir. And how old are you now? I'm 93. Not, wow. That's what I thought, 93. That's awesome. Uh, and the last time I saw you was in Red Wing, Minnesota, aboard your sea skiff. I just wanted to reach out, and you just made this young man's life. <laughs> this uh, has been incredible. Just, I never thought I would have the chance to personally thank someone who was involved with the creation of my Corinthian. This is like really, really special. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> I built your boat right here at the Holland Factory. Wow. So, That's, wow. <laughs> th thank you so much, Chris, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Thank bye. you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, awesome. I just thought, you know, <laughs> this is Dave. Uh, he told me he had these awesome stories, and he's he's been like refurbishing and rebuilding. He's been in love with boats for most of his life, probably, right? right yeah. And I had no clue that like you were gonna call up the this, <laughs> grandson of the builder of the boat. My gosh, this is bizarre. But thank you so much. You're very welcome. Anytime. This has been awesome. Yeah. That really happened. I'm still like, I can't believe it. Uh, it doesn't seem real that the man who designed, prototyped, a member of the Chris Craft family is still alive and willing to talk with me about his experience building this boat. Like, that kind of thing doesn't happen. This was a once in a lifetime type opportunity. Uh, Chris Smith, if you see this, thank you so much for spending time to talk with me about uh, just your, your passion for boat building and sharing that passion with the world. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have new videos pretty much every weekend. Uh, stick around if you want to see more. This was bizarre, but the next video should be me out on the water in this boat. We're going to track down why the engines don't rev past 2000 RPM in gear. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. So, see you all around.